a baby. <laughs> and so welcome everybody. I hope you're ready to learn about how to take care of your pets. Uh, just some knowledge that I've learned in the last few weeks that I'm like, whoa, of course, my vet tells me to stay off the internet, but <laughs> kind of like your doctor tells you to stay off the internet. Well, that's what the vet, she's like, you just need to stay off the internet. I said, well, I want to know what's best for my little new puppies, right? And I'm sure you all love your animals and what, what's very, very best for them too as well. And so tonight we're going to hear a little bit about that. We're also going to hear a great demo from Pat. We're also going to hear, oh my goodness, there's so much up store in store for you tonight. We have hints from Ellen and um, ideas from Ellen on how to make your business stronger and um, some tips from Loretta about how she's used her voucher that some of you are earning and already qualified for. Um, and you're going to hear about that. And you're going to hear about right next, you're going to hear about Jenny's going to show you November. And so we have some of those products in and Jenny is going to take it away and give us a view of November. Thank you, Jenny. Hey everybody. So these are all the new things that started today. And honestly, some of them, all of them are absolutely fantastic. You're going to love it. Now you guys saw that the toys came out this morning. And so we've got the Shapo toy, which that is like a classic. It's a Christmas classic. If you know anybody that has children ages about Bring it under, they will start there, but they will play with it forever. And we've got the little plates and the cups. The Frozen uh, set started today, and it is adorable. And the Tupper Canoe and the Poppet Toys. So you need to look at that and tell people, you know, these are, if this is what I posted today. I put our retro toys are out because everybody's all over the retro phase right now. These are retro toys, guys. There's no batteries, there's no screen, there's no plug. All they have to do is use their imagination and kids need to do that right now. So get those retro toys out there this week while they're out there. So, but the flyer, the actual flyer has so many pet things. We looked at the pet canisters. You could earn them a couple weeks ago. And these, these right here, okay? They have them in the flyer as pet food carriers, but they are everything carriers, okay? The entire master system is in this one. And you can get two of these for $60. And I had somebody tell me today, you know, $60, that's, that's $30 a piece, guys. And if you'll look at our modular mates, the modular mates, some of them are $30 a piece and nobody really says anything. These are huge. They have the carry handle. They're great for Legos. They're great for a picnic in here, okay? And kids have a lot of stuff. These are great for art supplies. They're fantastic to put in the car. And if you're doing vendor events, these are amazing for catalogs and party packs. So, because you can fit all kinds of things in here your pens, your big tags. So, all you have to do is grab and go when you get it. All right. Um, we got my boy plate cover. This you can get free, and your customers can get it free with a $119 order, or they can buy it for $9. Um, we keep this in the microwave. So all you have to do is pull it out, put a plate, you know, cover the plate, and you're good to go. <clears throat> um, okay, the plates. These, I'm gonna walk over here. So I hope you can see me okay. These plates, there's two sizes. There's the regular size microwave one plate, then the dessert plate. They are so, so nice. And of course, you know, we can microwave them, they're partial safe but they're pretty, okay? They're elegant for the holidays, for New Year's. Like I really like them for New Year's. And to go with them, they have given us the salt pepper shakers and the butter dish together, okay? At a great price. And, you know, you have to look too, and if you put that stuff out there today about the price on the flyer and then out Because everything on here, I wrote this down today because I was really, okay. Everything up here for one of your customers is $221. The entire bowl set, the toy, well, yeah, the toys, those three toys, not all the toys, and everything here, $221. Do you know what your price is? $166. You can get everything here for $166 and sell it $221. So make sure that you're looking at the things you would use 
and grab them so that you can do demos with them so that your friends, when they come over, see you using them. Because when people see you use it, they want to have it too, okay? Just putting a picture out there really doesn't do it. I can put a picture of anything out there. Now these bowls, these are the modular bowls and I'm gonna move these over because I wanna show you, you guys know my favorite thing to do is to show you how you can save space with these, right? So these are two and a half cup bowls and there's three of them in the set. And of course, you know, you take the seals out and you put them all together and that's all the space you need. But then you have these three bowls, okay? And these, these are a fun size. This is four cups. This is five and three quarters, which is kind of like six, but not quite, right? And we're gonna do the reverse stack thing. So the larger bowls go inside the smaller bowls. This one is eight cups. It goes inside this one. All three of these hang down inside this. Look, look at that. Now, this is, this is a one gallon bowl, okay? You take the seal off of this and you take all these other seals, put them down inside here, put the rest of your bowls in there and put them on top of that seal. You've got everything right here. So yes, people need the whole set and you can buy them individually. You can buy the three and you can, the three two and a half cup bowls, you can buy them as a set. You can buy the other three bowls as a set and you can buy the big one individually, but you can get all seven of them for $54. That's not our price, that's your customer's price. So you guys, November has so many cool things in it. The flat outs are in the flyer. I didn't have those here, but they're a lot of fun for when your pet's traveling, when you're traveling, okay, they're great little bowls. I haven't had them for a while, I don't think. I don't remember seeing them for a long time. So check everything out. Don't just kind of flip through that one page flyer that you see and go, oh, look at it. There are things on there you really want, things that are gonna make great gifts and things your customers are gonna love. So that is November, guys. Make sure it's a five week month. So make sure you get yourself started strong and keep it going all month long. All right. So if you're excited about November, you're probably even excited about what your sales were in October and how you can continue that in November. Well, you know, sometimes I hear people say, well, I just can't afford to get in a craft show or, you know, all the craft shows around me are taken, which is crazy because I find all kinds of craft shows that need Tupperware people. But needless to say, I'm not judging. I'm just sharing. There's other options and we're going to go to Ellen and she's going to teach you all kinds of other ways to make it happen and to get your marketing out there. Take it away, Ellen. Awesome. Okay. So I'm so excited to talk about this subject because I make no bones about the fact that I built my business at craft shows, vendor events, things like that. Um, because when I started about what, 14, 15 years ago, um, it was, uh, I know <laughs> I just saw Loretta's face. Loretta's like, I can't believe it's been that long. I know girl. I know. Okay. So, um, but yeah, when I started all those years ago, um, I didn't have a lot of family and friends support to get started in the business. So those of you that are just like, this is really great, but my friends and family won't support me. Listen, I'm that girl. Okay. So you can build a business just like a business that I have based on getting out and in front of new people. Right. And, um, and it be kind of became a game. I stopped like for in the first probably year in the business, I would look at my calendar and I would see parties and I would think hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Cause I knew I typically made a hundred dollars when I went to a party. Right. So I looked at like payday, 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 payday. And then I shifted and started trying to think of like, okay, what's my goal for the week of how many people I can get my business in front of? And when I made that shift, really amazing things happen because I stopped taking the focus off of my sales, which were happening anyways, right? Because I was dating the parties and I was doing the things, the sales were happening. But when I started really focusing on like, how many people can I get in front of? And I would make a goal to set to be in front of 50 people. I'd make a goal to be in front of a hundred people though, during that week or whatever. And when I would have parties, if I had three parties, it was very realistic. I was in front of 50 people, right? And I'm making those 50 contacts that could lead to parties. They could lead to vendor events. They could lead to things like that. So when I started all those years ago, um, Tupperware was kind of going through a transition and kind of like now, right? And um, and so I would call vendor shows and they were just like, I haven't had a Tupperware person in years, right? 
And so if you're experiencing that, yay. And if you're not, if you're like every place I call has a Tupperware person already, um, or if you're thinking even like in the last year, all the places I've called has a Tupperware person, listen, just because it didn't work this time doesn't mean it won't work next time. So always keep those people on your list so you can call back next year because that person that was in there might not be in there. So always make that list of people that you could potentially contact about vendor shows and things like that. So as you're calling vendor shows, again, I've talked about this before. The first thing you want to ask when you call a vendor show is, do you already have a Tupperware person? Do you already have a Tupperware person? Because if there's already someone in there, do not not waste your time and do not waste this other Tupperware person's time by you showing up and cutting the results in half. Okay. So always ask if there's a Tupperware person there. If there is, bow out. There will be another opportunity for you. I promise if you keep making these phone calls and you keep reaching out. Um, so always ask that, right? Um, and, and so as you're calling vendor events and you're asking about getting in, if you're getting roadblocks and you're like, people, you know, I already have somebody, we have somebody, we have somebody, create your own vendor event. Your goal is to get in front of people. So whether you can find a online vendor event, like a Facebook type of a vendor event, right? A virtual one, that's great. Um, but if you're, again, getting shut out of those things, why can't you run your own vendor event? When I first got started all those years ago, not only did I start running into roadblocks of people like being closed out of events because they already had a Tupperware person, um, which is great for them, not so great for me, right? Um, uh, what I found was a lot of other vendors such as Pampered Chef and all these other direct sales companies were getting shut out of those events too. But you know what they did? They would band together and they would create their own vendor events. They would have host a vendor event in the home, right? So like, for example, I could open my home. I could invite three other or four other vendors to my home and say, hey, invite your customers, come to my house, set up, let's, you know, make something of this night. And I went to so many vendor events that were located in somebody's home, um, maybe in a, a small room at a church. Um, a lot of times they were community rooms at apartment buildings and things like that. They were smaller events, but they were just all of these direct salespersons clumped together trying to kind of build their business, right? And um, and so again, I concentrated on how many contacts can I get out of that? Sometimes I left with 10, sometimes I left with 30, sometimes I left with two, sometimes I left with three, you know, I mean, it just, you just don't know. Um, but one, all it takes is one, right? One really great contact, one really great party, one really great recruit lead. And so one really great event, right? And so definitely reach out, try and create these events for yourself. Reach out to other vendors and be like, what, what shows are you doing? When you work a vendor event, walk around the room. Hey, what, what other shows are you into? Sometimes vendors actually have them printed up and you can grab that and start calling those events that this other vendor is at. Um, so there's lots of networking that can be done at those events. Um, but the other thing is you can call local boutiques, right? We have um, here where I live, we have this great front street that has like amazing small businesses. And I know that at any time I could go into those and I could be like, hey, can I set up a table? Can we do a cross promotion? Can we do this? Can I offer a raffle in your store? A lot of times hair salons will offer, will allow you to do a raffle in their store and, and have like a lead box, right? And be like, hey, have people enter into my drawing and you can get leads that way. So there's so many different ways. And so- I really encourage you if you're feeling discouraged by like, I don't have, I'm not getting business for my VIP group. I'm not getting um, into vendor shows. I need to get in front of more people. When there's a will, there's a way. So just when you come up against the no, that is not a no forever. You know, we talk about when you ask somebody, is that no, not now? Or is that no forever? When you come up against the no, when you come up against roadblocks in your business, that is not forever, I promise you. And you could try the same thing again in three months and get raging success. So just because you tried something and it didn't work right now, doesn't mean it will not work forever. So um, never close the door on that. I learned long time ago, never say never. And I remember hearing people say that when I was younger and I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. It's just some catchy phrase. But you know what? Anytime I have actually in my life said a never statement, 
it always came back to bite me, right? I would say something like, I would never, I would never do this, right? And then fast forward five years, 10 years, and here I am, that lady doing that very thing, same thing I said I would never do, right? So never say never. And so always make sure that you are reaching out and trying to do these things and create these things. Also, your bank, if you have a business account at your bank, sometimes they do business spotlights and they'll allow you just to set up a table with, again, some lead slips, maybe some catalogs, a couple variety of products. Um, I've done fundraisers in the schools and they allow me to set up a display in one of their little like glass and case in, in how do you say that? enclosure <laughs> things right <laughs> and so I was able to go in and set up a display in there of all the Tupperware things that people do for that fundraiser so you always want to look for those opportunities to be able to do that talk to friends and family put it on Facebook okay making a post on Facebook is kind of like throwing stuff on the wall and seeing what sticks However, you never know what might stick. So, if, you know, you can always, you know, make a post on Facebook and be like, hey, I'm looking for vendor events to promote my business. Does anybody know of anything? Because I guarantee you, you probably have at least um, three dozen people in your friends and family list on Facebook that either are in a direct sales company, they have their own little business that they're promoting, maybe they have a brick and mortar business they're promoting, or they know somebody that has a small business that would be willing to let you come in. All right. So when there is a will, find a way, right? If you're wanting to grow your business, now there is no better time of the year than right now. And so um, leave no stone unturned, reach out to these businesses, do these kind of things um, and offer a donation, right? Um, offer a donation to a group. And when, when groups and flip that script on them, how many of you have had people contact you and be like, I'm looking for a donation. I'm doing this, you know, relay for life thing and be like, yeah, I'm happy to give you a donation. Can I come to one of your Relay for Life gatherings and talk for five minutes about my business? Five minutes about the products. Can I do that? Don't be afraid to ask for those things. I was just talking to Kevin today and he was talking about like people because he does DIY, right? And so um, is that DIY? No, DWI, DWI. <laughs> he does not do it herself, okay? <laughs> So, but anyways, he does, um, he, um, he has his persona of um, DWI, and so people will book him in for events to come as DWI to MC for the night, right? So these events that booked him, he said, hey, can I start a link and do a fundraiser for this event? And I was like, kudos to you for taking it one step further and saying when somebody asks you for a donation of your time, of your product, of anything like that, to take it one step further and say, hey, can I take 10 minutes, five minutes and talk about my business and I'll open up a link. Any orders that come in through this link, I will give blah back to you. It could be the host credit. It could be whatever. And so, um, so yeah, that's a great opportunity for you to be able to turn something like that, where people are coming to you for a handout, right? They're coming to you for that donation and turn that into potential future business. So there's so many opportunities this time of year. So I encourage you to take advantage of them and share with people when you have a big win like that and you find a vendor event or you create a vendor event and you have an experience, share it here at Champion. That's a great share of the shine and be like, hey, somebody contacted me and they wanted me to do this and I pitched them this and they said yes. Or I couldn't get into vendor events, so I created one in my own home or in my community center or wherever and I have five vendors coming and we had 35 people come through and it was amazing share those type of successes because those successes I'm telling you when you do them consistency are the foundation of what could be an amazing business that you could build just like the organization that I have built so um, back to you Pam all right thank you um, I hope you got some ideas there because seriously you need to take charge of your life and take charge of your business is what I'm saying. You, um, you know, no stinking thinking. Get over it. Don't use anybody's excuses. And every time you hear yourself start to say, yeah, but get your butt out of your own face <laughs> and realize that you cannot use excuses. You have to get around it. The people that go to the top are the ones that learn how to get around things, get through the obstacles and get around the is issues that you face. You may not like it, but you know what? Get past it. 
go on. You know, my mom always told me, and one of the cliches we used to laugh about all the time, it's a, you know, my mother was the minister's wife of a Baptist church and every once in a while, somebody would get crazy. Um, and, you know, she never swore or anything, but she would say, well, somebody peed in his cereal. <laughs> I'd be like, mom, that's disgusting. Well, that's why he acts all the time. <laughs> so it was just so cute and funny because it's true. How many of you have ever met somebody that just acts like somebody peed in their cereal and they're still pissed? <laughs> all right. You know what? That is exactly what I mean. Get rid of the bad aura that you're putting around you by saying these obstacles or talking about them. Because when you talk about them, you bring them about. What you talk about, you bring about. And what you're looking for, you'll find. So if you say it, you know what? You're going to realize it's happening everywhere. But if you say, why am I having so much success in Tupperware this month? This is amazing. You know, why does everybody I talk to, you know, interest, find interest in the Tupperware at some shape or form um, this month? This is amazing. So what you're looking for, you'll find. So if you're looking for your cup to be full, it'll be full. If you're looking for all the reasons why your cup's empty, it'll be empty. And so what you talk about, you bring about, let's listen to Alan and use some of those ideas to find the business and go after it. I have so much recognition tonight. I am so excited about some of our recognition and I'm going to pop right over to some of it. And next after this, we are going to head over to Pat for her demo so she can get ready for that. But I want to tell you, a real big surprise when I opened our screens today. Yes. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Great big round of applause for Loretta Desenzo Tiber. She was number one in the entire nation last week in Team Cells. So it's all of Loretta's team. And congratulations, number one in Director and Above Team Cells. That is so exciting. Also, last week, I will tell you that um, Champion, we were number three in recruiting and number three in promoting. However, also, PC Champs, you're on here tonight. Uh, if you're on my personal team, you are PC Champs. Congratulations. We were number 14 in the nation. And Bonnie Alexander was number 48 in the nation. Top 100 directors in team recruiting. Loretta's team was number 13. Uh, we have PC Champs number 33. Bonnie Alexander, 44. Uh, that's Flat out fun. And Manel's Tupper Bears, 75. And Amy Gardner's uh, Dreamcatchers, 93. Congratulations. Also top 100 managers and executive managers through unit sales. We have Sarah Weaver, number two in the nation. Yay. Mary Ann Miller, number three. 93 was Rena uh, Bickley. And 96 was Angela Robaugh. Congratulations. And Christy Jackson, number 98. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, Sarah Weaver, number 19 in executive managers, unit recruiting, and Angela Robo, number 40, uh, 40. And look here, top 100 and above in personal sales. We have Loretta Desenzo Tiber um, as number three, Jenny Cheatham, 45, Nikki, number 80, and Jessica, number 81. And congratulations, Sarah Weaver, top 100 managers in personal sales number 13 in the nation. This is just too exciting not to share you guys. Look at this, Maddie Miller, hey, <laughs> congratulations. Number one consultant in the nation. How fun is that? Oh my stars and garters. <laughs> I mean, that is just so exciting. Uh, so congratulations, Maddie and Margaret right there, number five. In the nation, Ruthie Feiler, number seven, Christina Moreau, number 22, uh, Teresa, uh, this has got to be so exciting for you, uh, Ludicurt, you are number 42, Sarah Troyer, number 44, and Tanya Horde, number 79. Wow, that's consultants. Oh my goodness, in the entire nation. Okay, you guys. There are a lot of consultants in the nation, all right? That is awesome. Congratulations, Loretta, number uh, three in uh, Director and Above Personal Recruiting, and uh, Sarah Weaver, um, also number 11 in uh, Personal Recruiting. And in Personal Recruiting with our consultant team, we have Margaret Schwartz, number 22, Sarah Troyer, uh, Rochelle Vanderhort, uh, Debbie uh, Crossgrove, and Rebecca Fickleman. Congratulations, all with two. Oh, but do you want to know what happened in October? Of course you do. All right. We are number three and number five, three in sales, which makes my heart 
happy. Uh, we had 305,000 guys that our goal was 238. So we made it like on Tuesday, like, like on, okay, Thursday, uh, like on Friday last week. And I'm like, I'm not telling them because <laughs> I wanted to make sure you knew we're so surprised um, that we all made our goal and we killed it, <laughs> right? We killed it by like $70,000. So congratulations to you guys. Um, and our recruiting goal, oh my goodness, our recruiting goal was 50 and we did 91. We almost doubled it. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. So congratulations, Loretta DeSenzo Tybert with a number 18 in the nation. Ellen Lewis, number 19 in the nation in org sales. And Bonnie Alexander, number 21 in the nation in org sales. Isn't that funny? They recognized the top 50 and you girls did 18, 19, and 21. <laughs> I thought it was fun. All right. And congratulations, top 50 org leaders in recruiting. Number 39, Ellen. And number 45, Loretta DeSenzo Tybert. Congratulations to our top 50 org leaders in organized uh, organization recruiting. Also, I'm, I'm sorry, top uh, 100 directors and, uh, and above in team sales. Congratulations, Loretta, number six, uh, PC Champs, number 20, and number 32, Bonnie Alexander. Congratulations to top 100 directors in team recruiting. 32 was Loretta, Manel Franco, number 35, and Bonnie Alexander, number 79. Congratulations. Also, top 100 executive managers, uh, Sarah Weaver, number two, Marianne Miller, number eight, and Rena uh, Bickley, number 89. Uh, top 100 directors in personal sales in the nation, Loretta, number five in the entire nation with $22,000 in sales. Bonnie Alexander with $13,000 in sales, number 11 and 86 was, uh, was uh, Nikki with 4,410. Wow. Um, you know, I forgot to say the total for Loretta. <laughs> Loretta's org sales, um, top 100 in team sales, uh, team sales for 81,000. That's awesome. All right. And so here we are with top 100 managers and personal sales. Marianne Miller, number 13 for the month. 24 was uh, Rena Bickley for the month and 27 was Sarah Weaver for the month. Wow, Marianne, you are amazing. A star manager with $9,000 in personal sales. Rena, $7,000 in personal sales. It's amazing. And Sarah, also $7,000 in personal sales. Uh, Maddie Miller, Christina Moreau, um, Margaret Swartz, Ruthie Byler, and Sarah Troyer were our leads in uh, top 100 consultants in personal sales. Maddie was number two with $13,000. Congratulations. And then we have top 100 directors in a personal recruiting. Uh, congratulations, Loretta, number eight, Manel, 13, and Bonnie Alexander, uh, number 52, top 100 executive uh, managers and personal recruits, number 79. Uh, Sarah Weaver, congratulations. Oops. And top 100 personal recruiting in, um, this is for the whole month in the nation, Margaret um, Swartz, number 33, Sarah Troyer, number 35, uh, Ray, uh, Rochelle Vanderhort, number 54, and Teresa Lunekert, number 99. That's still top 100. So congratulations. Guys, that is just remarkable, seriously remarkable. I'm so proud of you guys. Now we're going to escape this and we're going to take it to Pat. She's going to teach us a new recipe for our parties this fall. Take it away, Pat. All right. Hi. How y'all doing? Well, you know, this is event season and Ellen just had like some of the best um, advice for us. I hope that you all take that to heart. Thank you so much, Ellen. That was really, really good stuff. So I love events. I just, I think they're wonderful. And like Ellen, why not make your own? right? I mean, why not make your own? So when I do a demo in like an event, like I'll go, there's this turbo Mary Kay lady um, in our town. She is so cool. And she has an event in her home every year and she's done it for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 years. And everybody looks forward to it now because she's established. She just invites some people over. When you go to her home, you got to bring like a crock pot full of food and you get to set up. Uh, I always set up in her living room and it's just fun. So um, uh, Turbo Mary Kay lady, that's right, just saying, but it's really fun. So what you can do is you can come up with some quickie um, demos because you're, you've only got these people for you know a hot second. Do some quickie demos, like for instance, um, our, oh, right? 
right? Oh, our bags. Grab the big one and put a cake mix in there. Mix it all up. Grab it, take it with you, and either throw it in the microwave or the oven, you know, or um, it, show people, let them squeeze it, let them, and, and turn it upside down, whatever. But, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words for these things. Am I right? They're amazing. So what I like to do is, um, like, I'll take a water bottle and I'll break some eggs in it couple of eggs if I'm going to make a cake like I'm going to do tonight if I I'll break a couple eggs in our water bottle and talk to the campers um you know uh because when you pour an egg out of our water bottle the whole egg is going to come out it's all together it's not separated unless of course you shake it and break the yolks but don't do that that's all <laughs> but um and you can take a dozen eggs into your camper in our water bottles and that's really neat because it saves a lot of real estate in those little coolers. Um, and it's not in one of those janky little um, containers where the shells break and all of that. So you don't have to mess with that. Okay, this. I pull the old lady card with my, um, with my pan opener. First thing I do, I tell everybody is, dang it, put your, put your name on here. They're going to steal it. And you're not going to blame them because the thing is awesome. I'm just saying. So, but what I do, cause I've got old lady wrists and I don't like doing this. <laughs> so I just do this and I get this bad boy open, boom, done. You're in a quick little demo, you know? And so um, one time I'm among friends, so I can tell you that there was a rip one time that took this and she opened the can and she said, and then you just spread its legs and open. Sorry, Pam, but that one kills me every time I use this thing. So um, the quick demo, I'm probably fired, oh well. The quick demo that I do is I do the cake mix demo um, in the stack cooker. I don't, I don't think I have to show you that tonight because you've probably all done it, but unless you want me to, if you do, put it in there and I'll do it. Um, I do spice cake mix in the fall. Um, you take a spice cake mix, two eggs, and a can of apple pie filling, and boom, you mix it up together with your spatula. And then my junior, that's a bowl, my red one, has disappeared. I am so mad. But I want to tell you, get your junior that's a bowl out and use it because it's double duty this month, right? It's a thank you gift, but hey, it's also, oh, do the demo. All right, Catherine, you got it, girl, for you, because we're friends. Absolutely. So, so get that junior that's a bowl out though, because again, thank you and in a kit. How cool is that kit? Oh my gosh. 25 bucks. And then another thing I like to do uh, with that junior, that's a bowl. And I'm going to talk while I pretend like I already had my scissors out, but I didn't love me anyway. But um, that junior, that's a bowl. Then at, when they get it, the next party that they go to, or the next time you call them to date a party or something, Talk about the red, the matching red ones in the catalog and tell them to get the tower because they've already got the exclusive junior that's a bowl. Let's go, right? I mean, come on. So this is just so easy. It's so quick. Um, it's crazy because you just take two eggs and I, you've seen the, um, the little meme where it's got all different kinds of flavors. My favorite is the spice cake. And I thought that I had a spice cake mix here today. No, I didn't have one. So I'm using devil's food. Oh, well, the, I always tell my reps that if you don't mess up at least once at a Tupperware party, girl, you're not doing it right. Well, I love you too, Amy, because you're precious. That's why. Um, so I just threw the eggs in here and the cake mix and in my red junior, that's a bowl because did you know, I mean, this thing, I'm sorry, but when I got my kit um, back in 2017, I got, I got everything out 
of the box except for the spatula because I was a snob. I had sold spatulas for another company. Um, we could, I mean, uh, Mamberg Meth. I don't want to say the name, but they're wonderful. They're wonderful people. But I had their spatulas and I really liked them. And I thought, well, I, I'm not even gonna mess with that spatula. And so I looked at everything, I'm all excited because you know how it is when you get your kit. So I lo I'm looking at all and playing with everything and all excited. And then I thought, well, I gotta put this box away. I gotta empty it. So I'll get this spatula out. And I grabbed the handle of this spatula. Can I get an amen, um, this thing. And all of a sudden, I mean, because I have had no, thank you, I had no spatula with this handle. When you hold this handle, you, you know you're using quality stuff and it freaked me out. I'll never forget that. It was like, oh shoot, I was wrong. This thing is awesome because I just thought, meh, meh, you know, spatula. No, not this one, not the tap up, not the Tupperware one. Thank you, honey. Um, but so I'm just judging this up a little. You don't want to over whip it because it's got flour in it. And for some reason, I don't even know why, but you're not supposed to over mix flour. And I know that because I watched the Great British Baking Show. So I am an expert. I mean, just saying, right? Um, so anyway, you know what you can do? Hi, Rena. I love you. Um, you know what you can do? with your stack cooker, you talk to them about, uh, you know, browning your hamburger and the heart attack in the, the, the bowl, all the schmutz, you know, that goes in there. Talk to them about that. But another thing that you can do is, don't forget your cone and you explain about the microwaves going around and, you know, so, but what, what you can do, okay, you have this batter and it's in that amazing um, bag, right? Or again, the Red Junior, that's a bowl. Just saying, that thing is just cool. But what you can do is you can take the lid. Now I often will put it um, uh, down and I will put the cake on top of it so that the microwaves go under on top and from the sides, you know, you can do that. But why not, why not make a quick 90 second cake in the lid? Uh, in the top part. Yeah, why not? So I'm going to just put that in there and I'm going to do 90 seconds in my demo and I will do the cake too. But look here, cherries, devil food cake, couple eggs. I'm going to just put this in my microwave for 90 seconds. Seriously, why not? And, and then I'm going to put it in my mouth hole because it's gonna be delicious. Now, another thing that I like to do in a demo is I have powdered sugar in this, in my spice uh, shaker. I also have cinnamon sugar in it. It just depends on what I'm making. But what I'll do is I'll take that cake out and I'll just sprinkle a little powdered sugar either with this or with the, um, uh, the flour. Oh, come on, sifter, you know, I'll do any of that, why not? So when you're doing a demo, Think of as many products as you can, but think of the quickest way that you can use them. Like the 90 second, um, love you Loretta. Isn't she cool? Holy cow, did you see her sales? I mean, just saying, you are cool. Okay, love Peggy. But anyway, um, just think of ways that you can do a quickie demo and there are a million of them, you know, put, put some of the cake mix in here and throw this in your microwave. That'll show them. That's how cool we are. So anyway, I'm gonna go eat some cake. Thank you for making me make it because I'm gonna eat it. But um, it should be over, okay, 13 seconds. And um, so in 13 seconds, I'm about to eat some cake. But you can do this at a doctor's office. You can do this in, in the break room at your kid's school um, at lunch. You can do, you can do this anywhere. And it's just, if you have a microwave, someplace with a microwave, boom, do a 90 second cake. And then look here. Oh, you're about to be jealous of me. 
90 seconds and I have cake. I'm gonna let this cool and what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull away from the, the walls and then I'm gonna eat it. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the rest of this cake in the stack cooker with the cone. I'm gonna throw it in here for seven and a half minutes because, um, well, because I can. And then, then when I get that off, I'm gonna dust it with powdered sugar too, or I may drizzle some chocolate sauce or caramel, whatever I'm in the mood for. So anyway, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, then you can share with Jim. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you met Jim? I don't. I don't have to ever share anything with him. The boy likes his cake. <laughs> so thanks, guys. And get out there and do those events. They're a lot of fun. See ya. They are. You're right. I can't wait to meet Jim. All right. Was that not fun, guys? <laughs> you know what? I want to just point out a couple things. Was everything perfect? It wasn't perfect, was it? But you know what? It made you like her more, didn't it? See, you don't have to be perfect to get out there. You don't have to feel the pressure of, oh my God, I've got to be perfect. And my kitchen's got to be perfect. Everything's got to be perfect, perfect, perfect. I got to make sure I say all the right things. I got to make sure I do all the right things. I got to make sure I have all the right products. No, you need to be you. You adored her. You loved her. You wanted her to make the cake. You, I mean, she grew, she pulled you in, didn't she? Her wit, her humor, of course, but she made you feel like she was real. And you're, she, you were thinking, oh, I did that, you know, or you were thinking those kind of things. And that's what's important for you to realize. If you want to go live, if you want to do these demos, don't wait to be perfect because you're never going to get there. Okay. None of us are perfect. All right. And just get out there and do it. Have fun. Have fun. And when you have fun and your friends have fun and your new acquaintances have fun, and you're at a craft show and you're having fun, they're gonna to wanna to have you in your home, their home. They're gonna be like, yeah, I met this crazy fun Tupperware lady. I have to tell you something. I used to tell people after they dated a Tupperware party with me, now you have to go to your friends and tell them you met this crazy fun Tupperware lady and they, they have to come and meet me. That's what you, that's your job, all right? Because you know what? Not everybody um, looks forward to going to a Tupperware party, but they'd love to get together with their friends. And if they find out this crazy fun Tupperware lady is gonna be there, they wanna go. I mean, I literally had people walk into the door at times in my business. And I'll never forget this woman walked in because I wasn't coming. And then I was going to be late when I decided I was coming. And then I found it was you and I decided to be on time. <laughs> I'm like, that's the reputation you want. You want to draw them in till they want to be there because they know they don't want to miss the fun. All right. So how do you have fun? Be yourself. Get a laugh at yourself like she did. And just have fun with it. She did an amazing job and she had everybody's attention. All right. And so let's go back to our screens here for a second because boy, we got some things to show. Um, so we're at our pet party, right? Um, and I love your pictures. Oh my goodness. I was going through them and they were so super cute. We want to remind you that we do have the Cleveland, um, oh, that's not supposed to say April. It's supposed to say uh, December, but we have the Cleveland uh, Christmas Connection coming up. It's December the 9th and you can register now. The registration's out there. You can find it under events in the Facebook page. It's $20 to register. You can buy raffle tickets now, or you can go back later and buy raffle tickets, whatever's best for you. But I will tell you the raffle tickets always are the biggest hit because we have really nice raffles. All right. Um, but also I want to share with you that we are going to have a couple other companies join us um, virtually. And so this is going to be a big deal. We're going to um, re really going to cater to the virtual and to the in-person at the same time and come up with the fine art to make both of these happen. And so we are going to have representatives that are actually working for us virtually um, and not at the event. So you can just know that um, We'll, we'll be covering both bases, okay? And so if you register, you're in the recognition. You don't have to be in the room to be in the recognition. It would be more fun, but you don't have to be in the room to be in the recognition. I really want you to come in uh, for this event if it's at all possible. And I'll tell you why, there's gonna be a store, all right? Now you can order your own catalogs and your own flyers. However, you can't order them till the day of the event and then, or maybe even past the day of the event. But then I think you can order them on the ninth though. But um, then it, you've got to wait for them to come in. But if you come to the event, you pre-order your catalogs and uh, flyers and you come to the event and pick them up. 
And so you can get all your party planning done and really be have a jump on things. The other thing that's really cool is we will have a Tupperware um, logo store. And so logo wear. So you can come and shop there for all kinds of fun things from our Tupperware logo store. All right. Um, so how about this? Did you guys get so excited when you saw this was coming back? Now you can only earn one. However, this is really, really cool because if you miss the opportunity, you do have this, but this is really, um, if you're in the month one of October and you've already done your October, <laughs> stick with October, okay? Because you are um, going to get it a month earlier than anybody that does it in November. Um, so how fun is this? And I love that they're giving this an honest to God shot for everybody. All of our new November recruits can get this with 250 in sales and two datings. Oh my goodness, you're well on your way to getting um, I'm mean, a 250 in sales, no datings, but 250 in sales and do it in November, December, and January. They've extended it to that. So this is the October flyer because we had a lot of people in October that actually qualified for that. And speaking of qualifying, oh my, this, this is your first quarter leadership challenge. Now, if you are a leader and say you did, um, maybe you're a manager and, um, you might even stepped up this month to manager, to uh, to I'm from manager to star manager. You have to be starting the month of October. You had to be a manager in order to qualify this first quarter seven hundred and fifty dollar award. But if you were, for instance, a manager and you stepped up to star manager or an executive or anything like that, Maddie, um, and Maddie's sales were, did you see them? Like thirteen thousand, I think, for her unit. Um, so she's actually qualified for this seven hundred for this um, two night getaway, not the seven hundred fifty dollar thing. The two night getaway. She's actually qualified for this. She has to remain a manager, and so that's really important. Uh, so she has to be a manager also in January. So maintaining her title uh, and sticking there. But because the sales are nine thousand dollars, and she did way over that, she's actually got her trip already. So you might already have yours too. Um, and so check your numbers out. Star managers have to be at eighteen, and executive managers twenty seven thousand. Thousand uh, in team sales. This is not personal sales, and then maintain your title. Um, how about this one? Taste of royalty. Now this was um, fifteen thousand dollars in personal sales, and um, be if I have a title, higher uh, manager or higher in January as well, or sell twelve thousand five hundred and have new consultant sales of two thousand five hundred, and of course be a manager in title. Um, be, have your title, whatever your title going into it is, uh, your same title um, in January. So we want to share with you that already qualified with the sales is Christina Moreau, uh, Rena Beckley, and Marianne Miller in Path 1. And in Path 2, already qualified with the sales is Robin Vanderwagen on her, uh, well, she's actually on pace. She's not qualified with sales, but the cool thing about Robin is she's doing it in, uh, in uh, Path 2 and has new consultant sales. She only needs like 400 and some dollars in new consultant sales, and she's qualified there too. So how exciting is that? She will probably qualify in both levels, to be honest with you. You only get it once, Robin. Uh, but congratulations. Also on pace is Sarah Troyer, only a couple hundred dollars away. Uh, Maddie Miller, congratulations. And Margaret Schultz, and congratulations. And Sarah Weaver, congratulations. How awesome, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, already qualified on the taste of royalty. Now, there is also one for directors, and I know they're working hard for it. Um, in fact, I had one of them tell me today, to, um, yes, Bonnie, and <laughs> she said, I am getting that. And I said, good, because we need to all go together, right? All right. And so congratulations to our brand new people. If you're here for the very first time and you're brand new and you've already earned this, yay, put it in the chat. It's me. I'm on there. Uh, you'll see your name here. And Brett, congratulations, guys. This is the first of many awards that you can have in Tupperware just for doing your job. I used to work at a really nice, fancy uh, store. Um, much It was called Lazarus, if anybody remembers Lazarus but it's kind of like a, a nice, um, you know, a nice, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know, a nice dillard, all right? Um, but I will tell you that I never went to work on Friday morning and found out I, I got presents, all right? Thursday morning, Sorry, I, I found out I got presents. And so this is what's really cool about Tupperware. If you do this, we'll give you this. And if you do this, we'll give you this. And if you do this, we'll give you this. I mean, company cars, come on. This is just the beginning. So congratulations to you. And if you are, we're new in August. Um, I'm sorry, if you were new in, um, let's see, September, 
um, October, November. This is the September recruits. If you are new or had a new person come in, you are also earning um, your first order, of your consistency gifts. And this will be your month for your third month. And congratulations for those who were able to qualify. Uh, congratulations here, more qualifiers. Um, this was last month qualifications. And so congratulations. Uh, if your name's on here, put it in the chat. Hey, I'm on there. We just want to cheer you on. Uh, and congratulations for the newbies from October that qualified as well. So on your way, to free gifts, all right? More gifts or $10 gifts or $5 gifts. Some of them are free. Um, and congratulations to all of our leaders. Look at this. Oh my goodness, you got a Vanguard bonus and you won your table. Congratulations. Look at Sarah Weaver's bonus, $460. Woo, that's awesome. All right, congratulations to all of you too that got a uh, personal volume bonus. There are so many reasons why Tupperware is fun because yes, you make money from your parties, but there's other paychecks you get too from Tupperware. And the more you sell, the more you get. Uh, so congratulations to all of you who are qualifying for the extra cash bonuses. And congratulations to all of our qualifiers. Um, some of you got two of these, multiple sets, if you got a star by your name. So congratulations. This is so perfect because for $25, you get two birthday, two Christmas gifts or birthday gifts. And how wonderful, I have to tell you, I love the mandolin, but that spiralizer rocks as well because it's so, it's so easy to use and it's just not big and bulky to store. And I just love both of these. And by the way, our mandolin, if you haven't touched it or used it, those legs fold under and it's really stores nicely flat. All right. And our recruiters, congratulations. You got so many good, good gifts that you can use for stocking stuffers or you can use on your craft shows. Um, don't you love getting something for $10 that you can sell for 60? <laughs> okay. And that's at utensil set. Holy cow. Um, and also monthly sales challenge for only $20. All of you qualified that's listed here with $2,500 or more in sales. Congratulations. And also, um, those who qualify um, with the uh, sales of $5,000 or more, wow, congratulations. And those who can qualify with sales of $7,500 or more, and this is a build. So if you uh, got to the $7,500, you get all three of these gifts, all right? And um, this is the $10,000. Whew, my goodness, five, one, two, three, four, five, five champions sold $10,000 in personal sales or more. Wow. All right. So I'm so proud of you guys. And the leaders who actually earned the table, they get a pop-up uh, banner with it as well. And um, our granders will have a chance uh, level at 12,500 in team sales um, entered into drawing for eight surprise packs of $300 value. So yay, we got to have some champions win there. And this is the skillet. I don't know how it got so far away from each other, but congratulations if you're qualified for your month one of the skillet. How fun is this? I cannot wait to have you guys have it in your house. I love it in mine. I'm using mine and love, love, love it. I'll do another video this week with that. That's so cool. It's just such a nice product. And <clears throat> here's the extension. Now, if you're in, if you're in October, if you already qualified your month one, you stay there. But if you missed it or um, all of our brand newbies, uh, Tupperware really wants you to have this for our big, amazing uh, release of the product when it does come out. So you want this, all right? So get this free, free. <laughs> My goodness, free. All right, boy, this is fun. Now I think it's time to do another drawing. <coughs> Jenny, what do we have? We have, um, we have the drawings from two weeks ago because we didn't do drawings last week. So we have, um, the team night from two weeks ago from the 12th. <laughs> And the winner for that is Sharon Domer. Sharon Domer. Congratulations, Sharon. Sharon is so sweet to always be posting a motivational. Obviously, we can't all do it uh, like she does daily, but it is great to have somebody in charge of motivation on our team page. Yay. Hey, if you come across a really good one, you want to put it up there, go ahead. We always are looking for inspiration and motivation. So we have one from last week's team night where we were live. Uh -huh. And we had comments from the people that were online and that were live. We had a lot of comments on that. That was a really good rally. Yeah. And we have on that. Amy Gibson. Amy Gibson. Oh, cool. Congratulations, Amy. One more, Jenny. Okay. Um, we can do hot topics from two weeks ago because that's the oh, one yeah, we Let's do it. <laughs> that was a great hot topics. And if you're new, you need to go look that one up and watch it. 
Oh, Renee Hardway. Yes, congratulations. All right. See, as soon as I hear it, I know it because I type your name. All right. Uh, so congratulations, guys. All right. So, okay. Uh, we want to talk to Loretta. Loretta, share with us about the voucher and how you've used it, some of the Tupperware vouchers and how, how's that work? Hey, guys. Well, uh, I'm telling you, anytime you can earn an award from Tupperware, earn it, even the little things, because the little awards are going to get you the big awards, okay? Like all of a sudden you're, you're earning the big stuff. And um, I've been earning trips and awards from Tupperware ever since I can remember for 28 years now. <laughs> and um, I've gone with other Tupperware people. I've gone on my own. I've gone with my husband. I've gone with my family. And they're all amazing. Um, and this last award was my WOW Award. And um, it was a $3,500 voucher. Okay, and sometimes, I will be honest, we've had vouchers in the past, and they were very limited, and you really couldn't do much, you didn't really pay for much, but I'm going to tell you that it was like having my own personal travel agent, okay? I told them where I wanted to go, uh, and I had absolutely no idea. One of my my dreams is I started this business to be flexible and work around my, around my family. And one way to thank them for supporting me um, to is to take them on these trips, all right? And one of the trips um, on my bucket list is just to take them to all of our national parks or as many as I can, okay? And to visit our beautiful country that we, I know, Debbie, <laughs> uh, Deb, um, um, to visit our beautiful country. We have such a beautiful country and I want my kids, I want to experience that with my kids. Anyway, so I chose um, Yosemite. I have never been to a national park that I know of. <laughs> I had no idea um, and all that, but the travel agent helped me find lodging, uh, gave me recommendations. She's like, how many people do you have? Are you looking for this type of an experience or that? Um, you know, got me all the airline tickets, um, even paid for uh, a private tour guide okay so they even paid for activities okay so it wasn't just like the lodging wasn't just the the airfare it was the rental car the lodging the um everything and so I, i'm just going to share my screens really quick because i mean guys there, there's there's a ton of pictures but it was a tupperware trip and i mean we're, we're using our silicone bags um everybody contributed those awards great moments at, that we i can't even this is our private tour guide it was just us I mean, they paid for that. They paid for the Ford Expedition. We got to see this beautiful country. This is Yosemite um, and all the beautiful places there. We sported <laughs> all our Tupperware awards. I mean, from, it's, oh, I just earned it again, like the, the head, what's that called? The neck thing for the airplane. This is a backpack from Tupperware. I mean, you wanna earn all these little things cause that'll make the big things happen. I mean, we just got some amazing views. I kind of want to fast forward here. I told you, there's just so many pictures and they don't even show the beauty. I know, right, Deb? You got to actually experience this, guys. And so um, I just want to share with you that they just, there's a, pic, a cute picture of all the Tupperware, but there's water bottles and, oh yeah, it was camping. Oh my goodness, I had the one tour. Okay, I thought I was going to, okay. Like anybody here like Cedar Point? Okay, this is called the Jeep Sunset Tour. What I didn't show you is the terrifying ride to get up to this highest point um, on top of the highest point in Sierra Forest because that's where the lookout is, where the, um, of course we have you, where, the, where they watch for forest fires, okay? They don't tell you about the terrifying ride. <laughs> it was paid for by, by Tupperware, guys. So you, you've got to take, you've got to do it. You, oh, wait, there's a picture of me with all my Tupperware. Yeah, wait, let's not forget. We've got corkscrew, we've got all our, uh, you know, things <laughs> that you got to have on a camping kind of thing. I didn't camp though. We stayed in a little VRBO. But anyway, so um, they helped me get the best airfare. She's like, you got some money left over. What else would you like to do? Um, and it was great because, guys, I, I probably wouldn't have done it. I, I probably would My head is out of control. Like, oh my goodness, I don't know what where to fly into. I don't know where the best place is to stay. I don't know what activities are, are to do. So um, earn these vouchers if you can. I mean, make your own experiences with, with Tupperware. Do those little things, okay? Do those little things that are gonna make the big things happen. And you're gonna have, I, I mean, I've got moments to remember all over my office on, on Disney trips, Hawaii trips, 
Norway trips, <laughs> Monaco trips, uh, Mexico. I mean, all I've been all over this country and world. So thank you to Tupperware because um, I wouldn't do that. I'd say, you know what? I can't afford to do that. I got to pay a bill. I can't afford to do that. I've got, I've got this to pay for, right? You don't usually spoil yourself, but uh, where can you work, take vacation and have them pay for it? I don't know, Tupperware. <laughs> All right. That is right. And I have to tell you, I, and it's the, it goes all the way down to this right now. If you are a brand new consultant, you still have, could earn that voucher. That's crazy. Um, it's just, it's completely uh, achievable. Um, you have to come in and get very serious, very fast, but it's doable. All right. And so I just want to encourage you to really look at the big picture and you know what, build your business right now, because even if you are so new that you might miss this one, cause you missed October and we have November, December, we still have two months, but even if you're so new, get yourself prepared so that in the business, when something else comes up that you want to earn, you're ready for it and you're established enough to run after it. All right. Um, and I know that some of you are new here and I will just tell you, um, Jim and I have traveled to 32 countries, all free award trips from Tupperware, and some of them multiple times. Now, I almost hesitate to say it because it sounds too good to be true, and but it's so real. Jim and I have had three children in this business. Uh, two of them were born before I came into Tupperware. I was very young. Um, and then my daughter, who's I'm in her house right now. Um, I, she was born when I was brand new in the Tupperware business. I just will share with you that the best things about this business is having the flexibility of your own life and your own schedule all those years and still making corporate money. And so if that sounds too good, but you're too good to be true, don't wake me up. Okay. Cause I have to tell you, I have loved this business for 40 years. Um, so let's take that out and just look at what we have to share this evening um, uh, for our rec for our um, business, where we're at right now. Oh my goodness. Um, we had a phenomenal month. We had champion have four star directors, two, um, uh, a four star director, Ellen, a two, two, two uh, a one, two star director, uh, Amy and um, two star director and a star directors, two of those and directors. We have five of those executive managers. We have three of those star managers, two of those and managers, 17 of those. Where do you want to fit in? You decide because this business is here for you to take at any level you want. We did in October, 305,000, uh, 600, uh, six, six hundred and six dollars, 19 cents, uh, and 91 new champions. All right. Um, we have rep pricing listed on our Facebook page just to make it easy for you to see. But uh, Tupperware is now um, this this week. Um, and these are why supplies last. Uh, you have a surprise bag that you can sell. It's $125 value for $59. Now, if you know anybody that is not going to get a Christmas present, you can say, buy your own Christmas present. You wrap the box and you open it Christmas morning. You don't know what's in it. It's a surprise. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. So <laughs> if you love to get a prize yourself, buy yourself a Christmas present and tell the kids they have to wrap it. And it's what mommy would really love to have. And it's a surprise for mommy and a surprise for them. And you're going to open it Christmas morning. Um, you could do it with friends. You could buy them a surprise box and say, I have no idea what's in it. We have to wait till you open it to find out. It's a surprise pack from Tupperware and wrap it and make it pretty and make it fun. Um, how fun is that? It is so fun. Your price is $44 and 25 cents at your discounted price. The retail value is 125 and you're selling these for $59. Uh, this is so cute. Your price is only $9. This is another great Christmas gift that you can use for little people that you love. This is frozen too. This is not frozen one. That's old school. Uh, this is frozen too. Um, and your pricing is $9. I want to tell you, if you're doing any events before between now and Christmas, put these in a clear cellophane bag with a cute little bow and they sell like crazy. You have one unwrapped and so people can touch it and feel it and see it. But when it's wrapped and ready to go, boom, bought, all right? And you can get those on Nashville Wrap. It's a very good place to get your clear cellophane bags because if you go to the uh, craft store and get them, they're real milky. They're not real clear and they're not real crisp. They're kind of soft. Food bags you don't want. You don't want food bags because those are made uh, for food and they're a different kind of plastic and they're not as clear and pretty as the um, the bags that you want to get. Okay, just your and I don't do shrink wrap on these little things. I do the clear uh, just cello bags. Okay, um, and then all of these toys. 
Oh my goodness. This is so fun. I will tell you that shape of ball. If you have events between now and Christmas, that shape of ball, not only does it pull people over, but everybody talks about it, touches it, shakes it. And, and it sells like crazy. Every grandma that walks through that their granddaughter doesn't have it. Their grandson doesn't have it. They get one. All right. Um, these are great bathtub toys, the little um, Tupper canoes and these two, uh, because they can have their little shot glasses. If you ask to borrow them, you might be able to use them too. But, um, you know, make milk and cookies is so cute for Santa. It's just cute for their little, ba uh, their little bears. And, you know, it's just fun to use and fun to play with. And then you have over here, the stencils. Talk about creativity and art. $19 for the set. You get the stencils and the container to keep it in. Uh, what a treasure. And I will tell you, if you have, if you bought the, st uh, the stores a lot last week, you might want to swap out that modulate, put that in your kitchen and use a stores a lot box and you have room for the markers too. So great idea. Um, and then did you have this when you were a kid, the pop a lot? Oh my goodness. It's hours of fun. Speaking about, uh, talk about creativity. That's really healthy for children to earn, learn eye and hand coordination starting with the little ball and going to the uh, Pavala toy, eye and hand coordination. You want to have a fighter jet on your hand? Well, not a fighter jet, but maybe somebody who works for the airlines. You need to have that eye and hand coordination. We want to have a professional football player, professional baseball player, a ballerina, all of that. Eye and hand coordination, all is needed. Um, guys, Better Together Consistency Program is back for us um, October through January 31st. All November new consultants and their recruiters can earn all of these beautiful gifts. And when you do it all three months, you're going to get the Consistency Award. And the Consistency Award is free. All right. And so what a bonus for us all. I want to tell you about the top 10 at Champion in Personal Sales. Nikki Micah, number 10. Ruthie Byler, number nine, uh, Sarah Weaver, number eight. Um, and all of these ladies have qualified for the champion table. Remember the champion table is 1500 or higher top 10 choose from the table. And, um, the, um, fifth, all others will go to, um, we'll get a gift from Pam and Jim. It'll be a surprise gift. You could wrap it and put it on your tree. Okay. Uh, number seven, Rena Bickley. Congratulations. Number six, Marianne Miller, 9,000. It took $9,856 in personal sales to be number six at Champion Enterprises for the month of October. Number five, 10,000. Congratulations, Margaret. And number four, Christina Moreau, 11,000. Number three, Maddie Miller at 13,000. Number two, Albani Alexander at 13,000. And number one, Loretta Desenzo Tiber, 22,000. Wow. All right. Congratulations to all of you uh, succeeders. And you will be getting, um, uh, we'll, we'll send it to Loretta first. And then when Loretta chooses her gift, we send it to Bonnie. And then we send it to Maddie. And then we send it to Christina. Uh, and then we send it to Margaret. Then we send it to Marianne. And then uh, Rena, Sarah, Ruthie, and Nicole, and Nikki uh, all get to choose a gift off of the um, gift table, which I'll send you a picture of the gift table and you'll get to make your choices. Okay. Unit sales. Congratulations. Michelle Ringel, uh, Angela Neisel. Congratulations. Erica Plummer. Congratulations. Angela Robaugh, uh, Kathy. Uh, congratulations, Kathy uh, Rockwood. And also Pam Green, congratulations. And also we want to have wild applause for Christy Jackson and Rena Bickley and Marianne Miller and Sarah Weaver. Congratulations, guys. That is awesome. And let's give Teen Cells recognition, Jennifer Cheatham, uh, Nikki Micah, um, and Manel Franklin, Jessica Gordon, Amy Gardner, Ellen Lewis, and Pat Freely, uh, Bonnie Alexander, PC Champs, and number one, Loretta does under Tyra at 81,000. Congratulations. Org sales, 30,000. Amy Gardner. Number three, uh, 71,000. Uh, number two, congratulations. Ellen Lewis at 80,000. And number one, Org sales, $81,837.24. Congratulations. Uh, personal recruiting, congratulations for all of our personal recruiters. Top three, Bonnie Alexander with four, Manel Franklin with 12, and Loretta Desenzo Tiber with 17 personal recruits. She saw a lot of people. <laughs> so that's awesome. And unit you know, recruiting, congratulations. Top three, we have Rena Bickley with three, Angela Robau with four, and Sarah Weaver with four. Congratulations. And team recruiting, congratulations. We have number five, Alan Lewis. We have PC uh, Champs, number four, um, Bonnie Alexander, uh, Manel Franklin, 
and Loretta Descends of Tiber. Congratulations at 21. Um, org recruits, congratulations. Amy Gardner, uh, Bonnie Alexander, number two with 21, Loretta Descends of Tiber. And number one, drum roll. 25 with Ellen Lewis. Congratulations, guys. And uh, what's it take to step up? Um, 369. Just remember that 369. So 3,000 and three personal recruits, 6,000 and six personal recruits, 9,000 and nine personal recruits. What's a recruit? A name in the system or somebody that you've had in the system for a while and she's still active in the system. She did not call inactive. And so if you put a brand new recruit in, how much does she have to have in personal sales in order to be considered uh, an, an, uh, a recruit for you to step up? zero <laughs> okay so if you put a recruit in on november the 28th and the month ends on november the 29th and you step up to manager she had to have no sales as long as the sales qualifications are there for the team to move up uh, for you could have to have 500 and your team has to have 3,000. uh you have to have three personal recruits in the system and all those three thousand dollars in sales could be yours um so just so you know how simple this is three six nine and the dream can be mine. All right. And so leveling up all of our people that leveled up one level, two level, three level, doesn't matter. They got a box for every level. They will get a $250 surprise pack of, um, uh, it is uh, actually pack bundle for free. Um, and it is a business building pack. How exciting is that? And so totally achievable for you too. We have two more months of this. So you could get one in December and another one. Uh, you can get one in November, another one in December. You know what? I just thought of it. This is something else you could wrap and put a bow on it. <laughs> can you stand it? You'll open it before Christmas. I know it. All right. Congratulations, Tracy Nicombs, par excellence, new manager with Champion Enterprises. Congratulations, Carrie Rubicki, par excellence, new manager with Champion. And I am so proud of you girls. Congratulations, Maddie, with Loretta's Rainbows. Congratulations, new manager. Uh, Sarah Mass, congratulations. PC Champs, congratulations. Rachel Vanderhost, congratulations. Flat out fun with Champion. And Nora Ritter, PC Champs with Champion and Magical. Um, I'm so proud of you, Nora. Nora's got a birthday coming up. Nora, congratulations and happy birthday. Um, Sonia Ellis, congratulations. Extreme Stars, way to go. And new manager, Teresa. Luke Hart, congratulations. That is awesome. Tupper Bears. And Paula Berry with Par Excellence, congratulations, new manager. And new manager, Terry Rafino with Dreamcatchers, way to go. And congratulations, Brandy Merkel with PC Champs and TriStar. And we're so proud of you, uh, uh, Brandy, and can't wait to see you go up further, all of you. So happy, new manager, Valerie Fisher with PC Champs, congratulations. And look at this. She didn't do one, but she might have done two titles. And congratulations to Margaret Schwartz moving from a consultant to manager to a star manager. Congratulations. She deserves that crown. All right. How fun is that? Now, let's also with wild applause to our executive uh, manager, Sarah Weaver, uh, new executive manager. She started the month in October as a um, star manager and she moved up to executive manager. And then you know what she did? She actually had an executive manager in her team, uh, Loretta's Rainbows, and also with Sarah, move up to executive manager as well. And congratulations to Rena Brickley, uh, Bickley, uh, Team Possible, uh, Prosperity, I'm sorry, Team Prosperity, Possible would be good for you. Um, team Prosperity, um, congratulations, Rena, moving into the DIQ program. Also, Christy uh, Jackson, moving into the DIQ program. That is awesome. And moving into the director title. Remember I said she started as a star manager in October and she did 33,000 in one month as a team and went all the way up from a star manager to a director in one month. Now that's only happened one other time in champion. And I know it's probably happened someplace else, but it's very rare and it, you, it's a huge accomplishment. That is awesome, Sarah. Everybody in the chat, go ahead and give her some kudos. That is amazing. Amazing. What do we have here? Oh my goodness, Ellen Lewis. Congratulations, Ellen. Moving all the way into Pearl Elite. Pearl Elite is seven 
$150,000 for the year to date. And her organization, including Amy, um, Amy Gardner and Jessica Gordon and Jenny Cheatham and Nikki Micah um, are all directors in Ellen's uh, Per Elite um, organization. And we are so very proud of you. Ellen, are you with us? Can you share with us um, a little bit about your excitement of being Pearl Elite yet again? How many years is this now that you've been elite and now Pearl Elite? Oh gosh, I don't even know how many years we've been elite. It's been a long time, um, but it's very exciting. I'm super proud um, to be Pearl Elite because um, it's just been a different year. And um, I'm excited that the organization has really pulled through. Um, to get to that three quarters of a million dollars. That's super exciting. And um, and that is not a me thing. That is a we thing. So that is Amy. That's like dream catchers. That is butterfly checkers. That is extreme stars. That is, um, oh my God, Tupper Tastics. I was like, Jenny, I couldn't remember the name. Tupper Tastics. And, um, and then also all stars, um, they're, they're in there. And so we have a, a lot of leaders that go into that goal and I could not be more proud and more excited to be the leader of all of those leaders. Um, so many years ago, I used to do like, I still do affirmations, but my affirmation was always, I am the leader of leaders. And it was my affirmation when I was a consultant I am the leader of leaders. I will be the leader of leaders. And I couldn't be more proud to be the leader of these amazing leaders here within Champion um, under the Par Excellence umbrella. So way to go, guys. This is all of us together. So we'll keep going and just see how far we can go in 2023. I'm so excited. Yes. And so, you know, being part of a winning team is so exciting and so important for you to realize where you're at. You are absolutely landed in a winning team where lots of people are winning and lots of people are making great money and lots of people are making this happen here. And that's what's really good about this is we are, of course, a national team. We're all over North America, but there's room for you. And we will teach you everything we know because we want to help you be successful. We want to help you grow your business. We want to help you understand how easy this is to really work hard and make great money. Now, I say easy in the fact that you're not going to get it without working, but I will tell you that if you work, it works. All right. And I also want to share with you, one of the most important things is being in the right community. It is so important for you to stick in the meetings and stick on the team page and stick in the messenger groups because you need to surround yourself with people who are successful, people who are winning. So the stinking thinking doesn't penetrate. And when somebody thinks that you can't make money in Tupperware, you just need to do my word choices. I do it all the time. If you know me well, you know me. Uneducated. They don't know. You can't hold it against them. They don't know. And so the next time, you don't say it out loud because that's rude. But the next time in your head, you say, uneducated, uneducated. So they don't know. You do. So you can never say that because you know. And if you say it, you're giving yourself a crutch and you need to kick the crutch out because you don't need crutches. All right. And you need to walk loud and proud and love your Tupperware business and be the Tupperware lady everybody wants and be that fun, energetic, be that Pat. You saw her. Everybody wants Pat in their house to come and do a party. Be that. And so think about it every single day when you get up. And I used to do this when I was brand new. What is the very best Tupperware lady in the world doing today? Mm, she's probably been contacting. She's probably, uh, you know, wearing a Tupperware shirt and going to the bank so people can see she's with Tupperware. Uh, what is she doing today? What is she doing today to grow her business? So what are you going to do? Every day you get up and say, what do I do today to grow my business? And you make a list and you do it. And I want to tell you something. Guys, I don't need to tell you what to do. You know what to do. All you have to do is ask yourself that question. And the first things that come to your mind, that's your job. Go do it. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. Jenny, do we have more things to give away? We have one more. Um, we have the Share the Shine drawing for October, and it's the logo one. So <gasps> it's everybody that's on tonight, shopper. make sure you message Pam your address so you get your goodies whenever it's time. And I think Jessica had a guest too, but we can do that. Yay. Okay. We do the Share the Shine thing. So Share the Shine first. 
Gina Arnold. Gina Arnold. Hey, Make Gina. Sure you get with us so you can get your logo stuff. Yeah, private shopper, Gina, private shopper. All right. And so we do that once a month. So you always want to share the shine on the team page and you have to put hashtag share the shine November now. And so that when we go to find you, we can go ahead and put you in that drawing. And so somebody wins every month and it's logo wear. I, you can get a tablecloth, you can get a bag, you can get a sweatshirt, you can get a t-shirt, you get to pick the logo, you get to pick the color. It is a private shopper. All right. And so you want to win private shopper logo wear. Uh, we do a drawing every week for Pam Swag, but once a month it's logo wear. All right. And so next we want to go to Jessica. Jessica, how many guests do we have on? We have Catherine Spencer with Char tonight. So welcome, Catherine. All right. Welcome, Catherine. I hope you've enjoyed yourself and been blown away with the money that they're making in Tupperware and how you two can open up those doors for you and your family. Uh, so you're an automatic winner and you're going to get a gift from Gemini. And so go ahead and make sure or make sure I add me and you to Facebook so we can friend each other and send me your address. Okay. And welcome. I hope you were, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Thank you so much. All right. So guys, we'll be putting it on Facebook tonight. The, um, the, uh, what did you learn? The ahas from tonight? Make sure you comment on that because you can have a chance to win Pam Swag. And by the way, we got new stuff coming in for Pam Swag. So you want to make sure you're getting some new Pam Swag. All right. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed you so much. And let's go ahead and do a drawing for everybody on right now. So one person can win. And we're going to do the guess. Okay, 39. Hey, Alexa, mm -hmm. give me a random number between 1 and 39. Here's a number between 1 and 31. It's 36. 36 at your house. <laughs> she, I said, Alexa, I was talking to the wrong assistant. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? Raise your hand if you have. You know, you have. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> so she turned the TV off on me last night, too. <laughs> I did. It was, we were rushing, and I like had to get this stuff sent to her. And I'm like in a hotel room, and I'm like, got a headache, and the TV was too loud in the background. And I said, hey, Alexa, turn off the television. And it did. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. Oh, the things we learned. Mm. All right. And so what number was that? 36. 36. Okay. <laughs> we have um, four across. Okay. So that would be uh, one, two, three, four, um, and five, six, uh, six times four is 24. And so that would be, um, all right, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. What time? What, what was it? 36. 36. Okay. 32, 33, um, 34, 35, 36. Oh my goodness. I don't think I know you. Familia Cornette. Cornette. I think um, she might be a guest with Carmen, I think. That is a beautiful name. All right. I love it. Familia. Um, I no, hope that, that's me. Oh, that's you? <laughs> it means Cronenwet family, but it's me. Oh, I'm in Cronenwet. Carmen, that is beautiful. I love it. Thank All you. right. Well, congratulations. You just won. <laughs> All right. And thank so you have to send me your address so I send you free gift. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. Evening. And I'll see you back here next week. Bye, guys.